Hey guys, welcome to the new London vlog. Welcome to Barbican. We decided to finally come to this iconic place and then also like walk around the, this area of London. And it's very gloomy, so very fitting with the architecture, I think. It looks very, very cool. I don't know how is it to live here, probably kind of cool as well, but also there are so many tourists, I think, and there are also businesses here, and just in general, so much interest to this area. I don't know if I'd personally want to live somewhere here, but I can definitely appreciate, again, the architecture, the design, the thought behind it, and it's a shame that it looks somewhat run down, even though it's very, I think, well kept, um, taken care of, you can, you can tell, but because of the nature of the material, the concrete, it just doesn't ever really <laughs> look good after its first year, I think. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting to walk around. We're not done yet. Hopefully there are some more areas where outsiders like us can go, but a lot of them are locked up just for the, um, I think, tenants, people living here, which is actually very good. I think if I were living here, I would want to have some private areas where no random people can come in and disturb my peace. We also caught some graduation ceremony of, I don't know what college or university, so it's a bit busy here, but it's pretty interesting to see them all over their caves, or like how do you call them, and I wonder if we're gonna find a seat at the cafe because of all the celebrations. We're done with Barbican and we're just near the St. Paul's and somehow it's 25 pounds for an adult entry and I don't really know. <laughs> we will Google if it's, uh, you know, what's inside, if it's really worth it. I think so, right? I mean, it must be something spectacular inside, but for now we're gonna skip it and we're gonna go to Tate Modern and I'm really looking forward to snacking somewhere on the way before or after because I've passed the point where I was peckish, now I'm really hungry. So we're just gonna go and hope for the best. <laughs> there are so many people everywhere as well, of course, because it's the middle of the day, working day, and people are out and about lunching, and then there are tourists. But it's not important. The most important part is that we're finally in London, and look at it, it's so beautiful. Everywhere is beautiful. The architecture, the people are stylish, the cars are beautiful most of the time as well. Like, what is going on? It's uh, a real eye candy trifecta. Every single time I come, I'm, you know, I'm blown away with the beauty.
had a surprisingly delicious lunch at uh, Wagamama. It's a, like a chain, so I didn't really expect anything much from it, but it was really good. And I had a tofu hot pot, their version of hot pot, um, Korean inspired something something. It was 20 out of 10, really delicious. Uh, unfortunately, a bit too spicy for me, <laughs> but I powered through it and it, it was worth it, definitely. And now we're going to see the London Bridge and then we're gonna head to the city, I think. Day. Yesterday we went to Tate Modern, today we're going to Tate. We will also try and look at the, well not try and, but we'll go and see MI6 building just from the outside. Maybe we'll do some other bits and bobs. We'll see where they take us. This area is so much wider than the central London obviously and it feels weird that one of the big big museums is here although like it's still pretty central of course but uh, it feels like you know I came here to visit my parents or something <laughs> not that I'm doing tourist stuff but that's great actually because I feel like more museums need to be scattered around the city a bit away from the central madness but on the other hand it's much more convenient obviously when there's uh, just all of them there are all of them in the same location that you can just walk around and stuff. Also, I feel like politicians need to be exiled to the outskirts of the cities because they like why would they need to be in central city in city centers? They create traffic and they're occupying spaces that could be used for something else. So politicians out and museums a bit more spread out as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. 
we're back in our neighborhood. We picked up our dry cleaning for the wedding. We're attending on the weekend and I am so looking forward to going back to the hotel and rotting for a good few hours. <laughs> and then, I don't know, it's 5 p.m. now. We don't really have any plans and I don't know if I'm up to doing anything really. So I think it's a good time to end this vlog because nothing exciting will happen for the rest of the day and tomorrow I can start afresh. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!